there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Vancouver, British Columbia here on the west coast of Canada. And today what we have for you are the 10 things that shock tourists when they come here to beautiful Canada. And the thing is, before I get started my top 10, I want you to know, shock number zero, something you should know, Canada is not a frozen wasteland all year round. I know a lot of people have this impression that it's polar bears and snow everywhere in Canada. Here in Vancouver, it hardly ever snows, okay? And the rest of the country, it's not snowing cold all year round. Look, 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 shorts, t-shirt, okay? So that's one thing I wanna get out of the way before we even get started, all right? Now, let's get started the actual shocks when you do come here. The first thing that shocks tourists when they come here to Canada is how friendly and kind and helpful the Canadian people are. I know you have all these jokes about everybody's there, buddy, 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 but honestly, I've come to Canada multiple, multiple times. It's actually the first foreign country I ever went to. And the people since I was eight years old till now have always been fantastic. When I've met Canadians, when I've traveled and other places around the world, the people are super nice. And you're shocked that, man, it's not a show. They really are super friendly and super helpful and super nice. And yes, they do say sorry a lot, but the thing is, is they are super kind. And that's one thing that shocks people. It's like, wow, they really are as nice as people say they are. Yes, they are. Yes, of course, there's some jerks, but there's jerks everywhere. But in general, you'll be shocked how nice and helpful they are. So if you have any problems, you don't know the direction you should go, you don't know where you should eat, which beer is the best beer to have, make sure you ask a local. They'll definitely help you out. Now, the second thing that shocks tourists when they come here is, you know, you have these nice people and they actually give nice service. But the thing is, the second shock is that the prices that those nice people tell you are never the end price that you actually pay. Look, here in Canada, you'll be shocked that there's sales tax and tipping when you come here. So the price is never what you actually pay. And the thing is, the sales tax they have here in Canada is different by provinces, okay? So you might have what's called, the, the you'll see GST, okay? Goods and services tax, 5% here in Vancouver. Or if you're in Ontario, you might see HST, you know, harmonized sales tax. And over on the east, it could be, you know, 13 to 15% added onto your bill. So you'll have your price, you'll go to pay and then that'll be added on the end so so don't think that one loony thing you're buying is going to be one loony you might have another five cents put on top of it okay so do have a heads up for that one that kind of shocks people another thing that shocks them is that when you go out to eat you do have to tip and just like other places like in the u.s it's 15 to 20 percent that you tip on top of your food bill okay so just remember you have your money to pay always have at least another 15 percent just to be sure to cover those prices, okay? So that's one thing you should know. But what's cool about it, when you do when you do go out to eat here with friends, they split the bill really easily, which shocked me because my, my cheap friends can't pawn stuff off on me. So that's really cool, okay? Because it's already split up. Oh, dude, that was yours. <laughs> so you have that. Now, the third thing that shocks tourists when they come here to Canada is how huge Canada is. I mean, it's one of the largest countries by size in the entire world. You know, when you look at the map, you're like, it's huge. You're like, oh, that's just the map skewing the size. No, even you put it on a globe the country is huge okay and so when you talk and I've talked to travelers that are coming here they're like oh I'm gonna fly in Toronto then I'll go over to Quebec City and then we'll go to Vancouver I'm like that's it it's really huge I hope you're gonna fly look if you get a chance you know WestJet's really nice Air Canada I've always had a good time with them too no 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 problems with either one make sure you use those flights to go places because the drives are insanely long okay also that insanely long sometimes you see funny things like we drove from prince edward island to toronto so we didn't use our own advice but we stopped along the way and we noticed that the moose signs as you got closer to prince edward island pei the moose got bigger and bigger so i'm kind of scared for the moose whatever they're eating in pei must be must be pretty fortified okay but but honestly the country is huge and make sure you plan accordingly so maybe what you do is you plan regions like hey i'm going to do the west coast so i'll do vancouver and victoria and stay around here maybe go over to calgary you know it's still kind of far but you know banff and stuff like that kind of put those together and then do like a quebec city montreal ottawa toronto trip focus on those areas because otherwise you're going to be spending so much time in the car going places that kind of takes away from your trip okay now the fourth thing that shocks people when they come to canada is how beautiful Canada is. I mean, the natural beauty of Canada, whether you're going to Whistler or you're going to Banff around here or the mountains just here or, or going out whale watching here in Vancouver, or you're like, well, maybe I don't like the West Coast. Oh, then go to PEI and have the, the red beaches there and go there and see the views from there on the islands there, or, or go check out Niagara Falls or go to the like, dozens and dozens of national parks and, and the provincial parks and all the beauty and beautiful nature that's around Canada. Because that's honestly, for me, the number one reason to come to Canada is the nature. 
it is gorgeous so wherever you're gonna go make sure you pack a pair of hiking boots or a pair of hiking shoes so you can walk out and take a hike okay whether you're here in Vancouver or you're I mean Toronto's a little bit tough but you can get to a, a provincial park relatively close to Toronto and check things out because that natural beauty here I mean you just sit there and take picture after picture after picture I remember I was going through the lakes and the, and the little islands along the US Canada border I'm just like snap 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 I'm like why do I keep taking pictures of the same kind of stuff because it is so beautiful now the fifth thing that shocks tourists when they come here is how much the Canadians really, really love hockey. I mean, really love hockey. I know we're passionate about sports in the US and they're passionate about sports in Europe and stuff like that, but hockey isn't just a sport here. It's a way of life, okay? It's the de facto ad for every single product sold. If you watch TV, you will find some channel that's talking about hockey, whether it's in season or out of season. And you can watch games. And if you get a chance to go to a hockey game here in Canada, in one of the big cities or go to one of the more minor leagues, check it out. It's a fun thing to do. But what's crazy for me is whenever I watch TV and I see commercials and stuff like that, the typical commercial I see in Canada, it's a mom picking up her kids or dropping her kids off at hockey practice. Or she's talking to her friends at hockey practice. That's how it is, whether you're, you're talking about medicine, tissues, Man, what does the cars, dinosaur say? It's always mom at hockey practice. I mean, that's how much it is a part of the culture here. So when you do come, you're looking for a fun thing to take home with, grab yourself a Canucks hat or, or get yourself a Maple Leaf jersey. Or actually for me, I think actually the, the Winnipeg Jacks have the coolest hat. But for me, the Nordiques, you're right there. You may be gone, but you're still right there, okay? Just so you know. Hockey is really Canada. That's what's gonna shock you. And following on with that hockey kind of stereotype thing is the maple syrup type stereotype thing. And that is the sixth thing is how much maple syrup really is in almost everything here. Now not everything, but you'll be surprised how many maple syrup infused, flavored, put into, covered in, dishes and treats and snacks and mints and things they have here in Canada. I mean, it's all over the place. My son loved the, the maple mints. I'm, I mean, me, I'm like, maple syrup? Yeah, I can put that on, on, sure. I had one, it was, they called the French Canadian pizza. They put maple syrup on it too with, with, with bacon and stuff. I'm like, that was really good. But seriously, the maple syrup thing is next level here. So for a tourist, get some maple syrup to take home. You will appreciate it because, oh my God, it is so good up here. But it really is a real thing. Like, it's not just a joke. It's shocking how much maple syrup is up here in Canada. Now, the seventh thing that shocks tourists when they come here to Canada is Francais. Yes, French. Yes. If you're going into Quebec, you need to know a little French, okay? Now, people speak English, they're no big deal, but you'll see everything's in French there. At least the, the, in the menus, it's like French is this size font and then English is this size font, okay? You will see that. And the thing though is, is though there is French and it is an official language of Canada, the actual shocking part is once you get out of Quebec and like the province is right on Quebec's edges, you actually don't hear French very much at all. Here in Vancouver, I think the only people we've hear, heard speaking French are tourists from France and tourists from Quebec, okay? So a lot of people like in the US were taught, oh, it's English and French and everyone speaks English and everybody speaks French like equally fluently. It's not that way, just in Quebec, okay? Just in Quebec, French, all right? Outside that, don't worry about it. Now the eighth thing that shocks tourists when they come here to Canada, and, and one thing I love about it is how safe you feel when you do come to Canada. Look, the country is huge, so there's times that you're alone. I mean, how many people have walked behind me on this beach in this city of three million people almost? Nobody, okay, I think there's one guy that went by. You can have these empty spaces, you can be alone or you can be in the city and you feel safe. It's one of the best things about coming to Canada is the safety, low crime rates, all kinds of stuff like that. It's great. And as a traveler, travel with your kids and stuff like that, it is an amazing feeling. Now, having said that, obviously there's certain parts of town, like there's parts of Vancouver you don't go to, in Toronto you don't go to, you know, but, but in general, just common traveler travel sense for safety, you're gonna be fine. And it's so great to relax and be able to put my bag over there and film and stuff like that. It's awesome. I think the only safety things you need to worry about is maybe, you know, if you're going to be going in the national parks and stuff like that, you know, the bears, you don't feed the bears. Don't feed the wildlife, okay? That's your probably most dangerous things, okay? Because bears, they like people a lot. No, 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 no. You'll see t-shirts with it, all right? So just have a heads up for that one. Now, the ninth thing that's going to shock you when you come here is that you're going to make a best friend. Yes, and your best friend, his name is Tim Horton. Look, if you're not sure, Tim Horton's is a restaurant chain. It's like a coffee shop, 
It's like a dunk it's like Dunkin' Donuts and a Subway and a Starbucks kind of mixed together with, with, with a big dose of Canada. Like super nice people. The donuts are really good, okay, and like the Tim Bits, the little tiny ones, pick some of those up. But you'll be shocked how how Tim Hortons becomes one of your friends. Because think about it, Tim Horton is there when you need him. Right, just like your friends are. Oh, I need I need some breakfast. Oh, there's a Tim Hortons across the street. Oh, we're on a highway, man. I wish someone could give me a chance to take a break from driving. Oh, there's Tim Hortons over there. And you pull off and it's there and it gives you a chance to relax. But also, Tim Hortons is there when you don't want him there. When you're in your bad moods. Oh, I need some coffee. Tim Hortons is there for you in the morning. I mean, it's funny how they're all over the place, okay? And the thing is, is the people are nice, the food's good, the donuts are the best for me and it's all over the place so if you're a tourist and especially if you have to pay for breakfast at your hotel don't just go to the tim hortons believe me there's one down the street just go out your hotel take a right it'll be right there okay <laughs> you'll see them and that's what's so shocking about i was like wow you know until you come to canada you don't realize how tim hortons and how a restaurant chain can become your friend all right and the 10th thing that shocks tourists when they come here to canada are all the Canadianisms. Look, all those fun things you hear about Canada, sometimes it really does happen. Yes, the maple syrup addiction and the hockey addiction, yes, I talked about that. But yes, their flag, they're very proud you come here. Wow, you love your country. Why shouldn't they? The place is gorgeous. And you'll see the flags flying and stuff like that. When you have some of the treats, beaver tails, oh my God, it's like fried dough with some cinnamon sugar on top. It's amazing. You're in Ottawa, grab some or anywhere if you can, get them. Or for me, the life-changing event of coming to Canada is having poutine, which is French fries and cheese curds with gravy on top. And if you can get it with the pulled pork on there too, oh my God, life-changing. Yeah, having some smoked meat. Yes, yes, have that salmon candy. Have that copa, have those things out there. Their meat is so good here, whether it's a sandwich or just eating it and, and with your friends and stuff like that. Yes, they do have the ketchup chips. And yes, they do have the milk in the bags like we were talking about. There's so many great little Canadian things. Yes, you'll hear them say sorry a lot, like I talked about before and occasionally you will hear them say eh you know what I'm talking about eh you will hear that eh not as much as you used to sadly but it still shows up and that's what's so cool about it is you get to have this great time with a good spirit to go along with it so do have a great time when you are here in Canada I will not be shocked if you do because the people are nice you got some cool food you got some amazing nature and just an overall great time. So if you like this video, we really do appreciate your like subscription. So click that like button, click that subscribe button, maybe share it with your friends and let me know what are some of the things that shocked you about visiting Canada or other places around the world? Put it in the comment section below so we can know. And if you do like travel videos like this, you click that subscribe button, we put out new travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Oh, also we're on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, all those things at Walter's World. You'll find us no problem. Anyway, I'll say bye from here in Vancouver and enjoy Canada because it really is an awesome place. Bye.